Hello, beautiful YouTube. We're going to do a twin flame read. And we're going to see what's going on with the energies this week. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Take a look around. Um, I believe twin flames are meant to be in union. We serve a higher purpose on the planet. And they are the original seedlings of the original divine blueprint. You can't make or force or create that <laughs> or manifest because there's only, you know, you know if you're a twin, there's only 144,000 on the planet. But we are in massive spiritual warfare and the masculines are feeling the brunt of it at this time, which is why the feminines may be feeling, thank you, thank you, Father God, Mother God, uh, and this is why we are, the feminines are feeling, it's my lip gloss, my lip balm, not my lighter. Um, if you're feeling heavy, divine feminine, things feel like it's off. It's because it's a mirrored effect with your twin. All right. Thank you. We call in Yeshua. Ayu. Clear, please. In the name of the father and the name of the mother. And for all of the original seedlings, we clear and bring those to know Christ's light, to transmute all darkness that is trying to stop Twin Flame Union. Let's take a look. So I'm really getting that um, the masculines are really in a place of self-doubt. They don't feel good enough. I feel the more that they awaken, the more they're starting to recognize what has transpired in the connection. And because of what's transpired in the connection, they're having shame and guilt for how they've treated their divine feminine. But this is also an energy creator was bringing through when I went through my meditation is uh, this was the cross of what they've had to transmute in many lifetimes, that this is the reason that this has kept them away from their divine feminine. They found solace in false advi advisories and advisors and healers and other shamans and witches and things like that and went by their own logic and what they read to create uh, a story is what I'm hearing. They created a story right up on spirituality and things like that and almost believed that their divine feminine was actually <laughs> slow moving. This is why they're so slow. Um, believe their divine feminine was karmic um they really didn't want to believe in this love because it was too much it was too intense they didn't think that uh fairy tale it was a fairy tale and because of that because they allowed that karmic energy to come in uh they ended up sowing karmic foundations and now waking up to this um they're not sure how to move forward that's why they're so slow because some for some of you a lot of time has passed for others um it's just been such fiery chaos that it's happened fast but just fiery chaos okay so there's two extremes here that are happening let's see what's going on with this masculine the divine masculine collective okay i wanted to use the animals the animals wanted to speak so we're gonna get this so we have the turtle here so it's been slow Six of Swords in reverse, not being able to move forward. And even if they were able to move forward, it's been so slow. So they've been kind of stuck of where they've been at in regards to these dolphins. Dolphins are telepathic. They're highly sensitive. They're intuitive. But it came up in reverse. And so they may have met you, you know, through work or through um, a community or you know, a family friends or a party or a celebration or something like that. And what's happened is that they shunned it. They they didn't follow their empathic abilities, their intuitive abilities, and they decided to go towards what was comfortable uh, in their old community, things that they had built up in their lives or people around them that were, could be a third party situation um, with it being in reversed. And it's what's kept them completely stuck here. And childish is what I'm getting. It's a baby calf here. 
okay, that they didn't feel good enough is what I'm getting with that page of pentacles to be able to come forward. They feel like a child in comparison to their divine feminine. Let's see how they're viewing their divine feminine at this time. That's way too much. How is this masculine viewing their divine feminine at this time? They're about to make a justice decision, a just right decision. Karma is on their butt about their divine feminine. They are definitely seeing very clearly now. You may be dealing with someone who's very tall, that their head was up in the cloud or their head was up in the clouds, could be both. Um, could also be that their head was so high up, their ego was so high up, they were just completely fog. This could also be, when I see poltergeist activity, it's fog light, black, black like energy, especially when it's poltergeist and dark. Um, this person and their illusions... Um, what I'm also getting is when they got together with their divine feminine, um, they weren't, it was so powerful that they maybe thought the divine feminine did something to the masculine, did something dark, but that's, that's not how divine feminines work. Um, you can do magic, but it's white magic. It's for the better good of everybody. It's not for controlling or binding someone or trying to change someone's path or you do it all from love and forgiveness, you know, um, I've done rituals and magic with, with my group. Some of them are, are manifesting amazing things because it's from the heart. It's not trying to control anybody and it's for, from a place of forgiveness. So there's something about some clarity that they're seeing now with their divine feminine. I feel like this is, side is going to be where they're moving to and this side is where they're, where they've been and where they're, and we'll see what, where they're transitioning to. What else about their divine feminine? How, and now they're stuck. Exactly. So because of this illusion and thing, karmic justice working out now, this person is now unable to, they feel like a child here, right? That's why they feel stuck, that that page of pentacles. They feel like a, a child, like a deer caught within, in, in the headlights, you know? They're gazing at like, oh my God. They're looking at this transitory um, bridge that they have to move from. Tell me about where how they're looking towards the future here. What's their transitory energy from where they've been to where they want to go towards this union? All right. We have, let's move these down because we got quite a bit here. We have 10 of pentacles, unrequited love, breakup situation and three of pentacles. Okay. This is where they've been and this is where they want to go. They built a foundation that wasn't out of love. There was there wasn't love there. It's all spilling out. It's the ten they thought it was the ten of cups, but it's all out. It's like they tried to create uh the emotional fulfillment based on materialistic gains, right? They worked really hard on this contract, but it was a contract, okay? Divine Feminine has to realize that this contract with this third party energy had to happen to clear the karma for both part for both ends. Most definitely the karmic energy does not want to be with some I mean, some of them do some of them just want it because it's just a material bonus with this 10 of Pentacles, right? And that's all they give a shit about. They actually don't care about true love. Um, that's for some of y'all and for others. It's like, They're now looking at everything that they built. Yes, they were able to collaborate with this person. Yes, they were able to, you know, cooper cooperate. And it was a nice, you know, it seemed like it was a back and forth. And that's may maybe what it seemed like at the beginning. But it's been unrequited. I'm going to look at the bottom of the deck here. So we have nine of wands in reverse. Not being able to move forward with what they've built because it's toxic. Okay. So completely toxic. It was the devil's plan is what I'm hearing. So now they have to learn how to overcome the devil's plan. Right? In, let's say, what's going to happen in with, let's see where the Divine Feminine is at. Let's just see this. We'll put the Divine Feminine over here with some space I've got. What's going on with the Divine Feminine at this time towards her masculine? She's healed here, okay? So we've got Temperance and the Ace of Swords. So, this masculine was suppressing a lot of the truth, didn't want to look at the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth, so help you God. Well, he's seen the truth now with that justice card, so it may have taken some time. Um, 
Because this masculine was just really trying to do everything logically, wasn't in their heart space at all. Okay. What they love was very material and very childish, right? And because of this transitory energy, realizing there wasn't love there, it's all spilled up. It's like it was their love that was fueling everything. You know, it was, it's heartbreaking because they thought this was their ten of cups. They thought this is where they were going to find God. And it wasn't. It was devil. It was trickery. It was obsession. It was addiction. That's all it was. Um, let's see. And see, so this divine feminine is definitely healed. She's coming to a place of peace and harmony from, you know, this truth that was lied to. Right? Let's move this a little bit here so you can see. Perfect. So let's see where this masculine is currently moving. Um, let's get some support energy here. Let's get three. What about the six of swords? Tell me about the six of swords in reverse. Why isn't this masculine able to move forward? Why is he stuck? Where is this masculine stuck? Six of wands. He feels like a complete failure there's a horse here he can't get on that horse he can't seem to follow his intuitive knowing right horses are very intuitive they're very um, um if you look at horses they'll, they'll run away from you or they'll come towards you and if they feel in any ounce of fear in you they'll buck they'll move out of the way they 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 can't handle it i used to horseback ride so i know that you have to have a bond with them um, they know it's a very energetic telepathic bond. And if you're not working in telepathy with your twin, well, hit me up because divine feminines are meant to come into their psychic ability. Okay, that's what divine feminines do. And we're supposed to protect masculine energy from these karmic dark sorcery energies. And until you learn how to face that and level up in it, you know, that's when things change and manifest in the 3D. Um, so... The telepathy and feeling like a failure and the intuitive knowing he's upset that he didn't follow that. And because of that, he is stuck in a community that was not intuitive, not empathic, not like very mind rationale, not like, you know, about love and harmony and, and psychic abilities and the deeper knowing because this masculine is very deep. Okay, tell me about this three cups in reverse with third party. Yeah, 10. Look at this mouse. This person was a rat that they were with. Okay, that's a rat. 10 of swords. Done. It was like, and, and you know, rats are scavengers. You know, they just, all they do is fuck and make babies. <laughs> like, that's all they do. And this masculine's like, damn, I was with a rat. So this realization is, you know, really hitting this masculine really hard. He's really in a, in, I don't want to say a dark place, but he's in a place of, you know, working through his mind patterns with these swords that are coming out and then realizing that he didn't listen to his intuition and realizing his heart that he he should have actually started a, a type of friendship maybe here or he ended a friendship with the divine feminine or he ended, you know, whatever they were starting, building a new community, coming in a place of like heartfelt intuition and love and empathy. And, and now he feels ridiculous, right? He's looking at everything that he's built here. He's looking at, you know, not being able to move forward because of what he's built. And he knows that he, we're going to clarify this transitory energy in a bit, but he's definitely seeing that it was all devil based. It was all dark energy. It was all evil entities, it was all greedy ass, addicted people who are very codependent people who don't even know how to heal. Okay. They, they do a little bit of work, gain a little vision and um, I'm seeing like something ritualistic here and then they never change. Like nothing changes. It's like, oh, they're a good talker. You know, it's like they're with a bunch of salesmen, <laughs> salespeople. So let's see why he feels like a child now. He wants to bring an offer, but he feels like kind of meek with the deer in the headlights. Like, are you even going to accept this divine feminine? Tell me about this um, page of pentacles here. Very innocent energy. Yeah. He wants to bring an offer, a small offer that can turn into marriage and say, I've learned my lessons. I'm reading from the holy book. He may be doing plant medicine with this plant that is rising up, that he was given access intuitive wise. Wow. With the Akashic, with that third eye. This card is really kind of kick ass. I'm glad I picked this deck. Um, see how the, the vine, I know when I drank ayahuasca for the first time, oh my God, that was the first thing I saw was the vine and it gave me access to the higher codes right away. 
right from the very first ceremony. I realize that's what it was now because there are evil shamans that are, I don't even want to call them shamans. I think they're just basic ass losers who think they know how to deal with energy and they don't. Um, and they, um, they couldn't go as high as this, right? This masculine that you're dealing with has grown, okay? Not all of you are going to be in plant medicine, but has grown and has given the insight. He's getting downloaded now that he has to bring this offer. But that's why I keep seeing the deer in headlights and why I'm seeing this calf here because this, you know, he may have been influenced by Illuminati. I have that on my tattoo here, my eye, because I'm reclaiming my power from the dark energies because I have that third eye. Not a lot. An Illuminati um, work with demons and dark ass things. So um, <laughs> they see in a dark way. They don't see the higher realms. They don't see God's plan, right? They don't work with Christ. They don't know God's plan. Um, only those sages, real sages, have that access to the higher Akashic. Um, so, like I do. If you want to work with me, book me down below. So this aspect here with this, this page of pentacles, he's realizing I have to still bring this offer forward. Um, I, I've been shown something. My intuition is kicking in. He's realizing that. that it, and that happened as soon as he ended it with this karmic energy. Something grew. Something immediately changed in his vibration. And he's like, wow, that person was a rat. All right, let's see where he's at in regards to his feminine because he wants to bring karmic justice to this divine feminine here. Let's take a look. What is this karmic justice that he wants to bring to this divine feminine? We'll do transitory in a minute. Whoa. I'll take the one that flipped. Well, we have the Knight of Swords. He wants to communicate. He wants to jump on that horse now, follow his intuition, and come forward. And we have the Panther, which is about intuition. Pull, allowing that truth, okay? The Panther is able to see. It's a leopard. Um, a jaguar, sorry. Not a leopard. That's different. A jaguar, it's just a black jaguar. They're the same animal. But they're highly intuitive. The rainforest, they can move through the dark. They can hunt through the dark. This masculine is gaining a lot of insight through the dark by following his intuition. He didn't follow it in the past, but he's learning now. Mother Karma is here, which is really beautiful. It's balancing the scales, right? You can't work in energy. That's why I'm saying these fake ass people who think they know what they're doing. Um, you got to be careful what you put out there because karma is always watching that, that wheel. You cannot change God's will. Grow the fuck up. Um, this is like realizing that the wheel is now turning for them, right? That they want to come towards the divine feminine. They've made this decision. They want to feel balanced and they're learning to trust the intuitive knowing. Whereas before they weren't, right? They felt like such a failure. They may have felt like a failure because they weren't, they were thinking maybe the divine feminine isn't intuitively connected to the way that, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> it's not intuitively connected the way that I am. That's definitely a sign for some of you. It may have been too intense that they just doubted that that was intuition. Maybe it was black magic that Divine Feminine was doing. Maybe he just merged too much with her and it was all in his head. But what's happened here is that he's learning now that whatever doubts have happened and realizations that have now come forward, he's now seeing the community around him. He's seeing the people around him. They're all fake. I don't think his masculine is anyone he can really truly confide in um, because he's ending certain community and people. So I feel he's very alone on this path, but he wants to come towards divine feminine about his decision. Let's see what else he sees clearly now that he was a fool is what I'm hearing. Um, he was lost in illusion. Could have been this black magic spells. And when and listen, when if your mac masculine is black magic's been done to him, and especially with false gurus and things like that, who people think that they know what they're doing, um, it can feel very intense because that person is in their environment, their physical 3D. And a lot of masculines work from 3D energy. Um, divine feminines work from 5D and bring it down, okay? Real feminines, real sacred feminines, not fake ass hoes, okay? <laughs> I'm not talking about these karmic energies who do black magic. They don't see the higher realms, okay? Reading the astral plane is real easy, okay? Like, I can't. So it's like 
whatever was done to him to block his view, he now sees clearly that they are trying to keep this feminine away from this masculine. Tell me about this. Yeah. Father Sky and denied his Christhood. Because realize we are the reincarnation, all of us, of Christ and Mary Magdalene. Twin flames are holding that energy. We are the ones that are meant to be bringing that down. And that is the second return of Christ, the 144,000. That's how it is. I'm sorry. That's how it is. Everybody wants that title or wants to be working that energy, but they. You gotta face dynamic shit when that happens. You gotta face your darkness. And if you really know what's holding down this matrix and black magic and all that stuff, it's dark as shit, okay? It's not light. And they're just siphoning our energies. And this denounce this masculine, this dark magic stuff, this blackness, the evil that's coming from the community, the money. Now, it doesn't mean that this person's, a, they were dealing with, you know, healers and other healers and stuff. He may have gone to someone that was working with, these karmic energies but it could also be you know if you're having sex with karmic energies that's a source that's a form of black magic your energy merges and and as an empath and as a twin flame you absorb those energies and it almost becomes you you lose yourself you got to be very careful of who you're sleeping with or have very good discernment of your energy body so that you don't get carried away okay um, I teach that too, sexuality and how women can, you know, hold their authenticity that they don't allow men to completely overtake their energy body. Okay. Um, if they're not dating their twin. Um, so this, this, he realizes now this masculine, he was an illusion that he denounced his divine masculine energy. He denounced the creator. He denounced Christhood. He denounced everything and, and. He wants to talk to the Divine Feminine about this, but he's stuck, okay? He doesn't have the foundation. He doesn't have the money. He doesn't have the things that he would like to bring forward. And I feel like that is what's stalling him at this time. The fool, because I said that. He feels really foolish here, regretful, and four of swords. Wow. Okay, guys? Um, this is really intense energy, really sad. This is why he hasn't taken a leap of faith towards the divine feminine okay um because he knows that he has to bring in this change with this crow his his blue heart his sad heart um of everything that's fallen in his life but there's a crow there the crow wants to bring in change right and the we have a cat look sleeping on his intuition for so long letting the cat the black cat sleep i love black cats that was my first cat was a black cat candy i love you I feel like she's here. Um, so not, you know, pull back from the divine feminine, feeling foolish, not having, you know, um, the stability or the money. Maybe he had that in the past because of what's happened with this ten of pentacles that was not built out of love. Okay. So he's in a sad place. He doesn't know how to move forward. And I think he's also afraid of some kind of rejection if he does come forward that, you know, his divine feminine may be doing better than him. And he and that's his assumption, though, is what I'm hearing, that he for some reason, the material with this king of pentacles is is really important. He's a little bit bullheaded here is what I'm seeing with this ten of pentacles in reverse king of pentacles. Sorry, it's like he's just being a little bit bullheaded about it. Um, it's actually a piece that's stopping him from coming forward. Let's see if the Divine Feminine is feeling towards the masculine at this time with all of this energy that's going on. What is this? She's healed. She's balanced. She's not so she's she knows the truth. She's not suppressing it. She may have been trying to suppress it at one point, but she's accepting where things are at and she's healing that piece now to understand. It's been quite the cycle. She's been working like a busy bee here, trying to build up her coin, trying to do things. But she's finding that even though she's doing that, she's caught in a cycle herself. What else with this Ace of Swords in reverse? All right, we've got a few here. Four of Cups. The Hanged Man. Okay, I'm going to move this again. The Hanged Man, the Nine of Swords, and the Ten of Wands. Okay. So, yeah, we'll do it like that. So what's happening here with the Divine Feminine is she's been trying to heal 
these karmic cycles for quite some time. She's gotten over the pain. She's taken responsibility for her part. And she's doing her best. She's waking up to another cycle within herself, okay? It's also her intuition. Her telepathy is starting to reignite, okay? Maybe she's blocked off connecting to her masculine, connecting to the higher realms. So it's because the bats see in the dark. And now she's waking up and, and saying, oh my God, I'm actually not seeing things correctly. She could be going through... Um, yeah, because we have the four of cups in reverse, picking up God's cup and saying, okay, I need to end this pain. She may be actually in physical pain, maybe her eyesight. I'm seeing this with her eyesight or she's not seeing things clearly, something she wasn't seeing clearly, where she still has to take rela um, relationship ownership about the ending of what happened here. Because a lot of divine feminines sit and think, oh, it's just the masculine that run away, but it's actually your energy that you hold divine feminine that the masculine can't ground in your container in your energy field right um and you're both mirroring that fear you're both mirroring and it's in a subconscious fear right so those things are coming up for the divine feminine now and she's really working on healing that and bringing that truth forward so any doubts that about this connection i feel she's healed that but now it's about the psychic realm now it's about the emotional realm i'm working with a few clients actually one-on-one -on -one with that right now so it's interesting that this has shown up about how to trust the twin flame connection how to trust what's going on inside of you um hearing the telepathy i had a client who just started hearing her her twin um who just met her twin actually we were working through um, a false karmic person and um woke up met her twin and they've been in somewhat of a separation and then falling asleep and speaking to him and then hearing his voice like clear as day that she sat up in bed and freaked out was like oh my god i heard him um it's a different feeling i can take you girls through that i'm like next level healer so i can teach you how to work with your telepathy that's that's how we actually are meant to be living in and that's what these feminines are doing, starting to trust the dream space, trust the intuition, trust the cycle of, of, you know, maybe trying to rationalize things of how to end things and not suppressing the truth and taking responsibility for how she's actually seeing. I'm seeing this with the nine of swords. See how the skull is there through the eye. You can't look through your two human eyes. You got to look through your third eye. So I feel like it's been too painful rationalizing this connection, looking at it from a certain way, bringing in, it brings in doubts and realize that I could have taken responsibility for my psychic gift. I have to take responsibility for what I intuitively know. And that can be a scary place. Let's see where this masculine is transitory towards the feminine. Let's get another row here, spirit. Please clarify the Ten of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands in reverse. Okay. And clarify the devil. Thank you. Wow. All right. So what we have here is... This masculine is in transitory right now. So he's trying to move towards communication here, right? He's trying to make this decision, balance the scales, move towards that in hopes that he can rise up, gain more clarity and come into Christhood, into his um, divine masculine um, energy and get rid of this stuck energy. Um, and what's happening here is he's single, okay? He's not moving forward with this foundation, with a family, with whatever family karma ancestral karma he is single he is being independent he's doing his own thing and he's really starting to build and work on you know um his fated contract with god right realizing that he's getting his angel wings oh my god this is beautiful with the wings with the wheel of fortune and learning to walk away from these addictions from the devil so he is walking away he's in that transitory place um, let's see where he's at with communication with the Divine Feminine. I'm going to pull one more. Okay. So we have the Naked Heart. The Naked Heart is not having the path that you desire. And we have the Second Chance, Judgment, Reconciliation, and the is that an Ace? Ace of Wands in Reverse. So that's the delay. The second chance, the reconciliation, making a judgment. He's definitely making a judgment call to communicate, okay? But I feel he's doing it with, with past parties. He's making that judgment call because he's not aligned to his path. This is an extra card in the deck. And you know, it's interesting that Spirit told me to put it next to the Five of Cups because he's still dealing with his sadness. Look at this, the two hearts. 
right? This is his journey, the path that God gave him, the path that he made an agreement with the creator to come in and to do his journey with the divine feminine. And this is where he's changing with that crow. The heart is slowly transmuting and coming into the divine path. It hasn't fully happened yet, but he's changing his ways, which is beautiful, right? We have the two hearts together. So this could also be the divine feminine's heart. He's not quite feeling the divine feminine is on the path either. That he's also realizing the divine feminine can't fully ever walk away from him either, right? Because he has to change his heart in order to bring the mission forward. So he knows that God is in divine timing. I believe this masculine is realizing that, that when this wand, this action to action a second chance, he will come forward and communicate. Let's see what's going on with this stability because this is where the stuck energy really is in regards to being a little bullheaded, feeling foolish. It's like he's letting his ego get a little bit too much um, in the way because he may feel like he needs to have something to offer. That may be what this masculine is about. Um, could be from an ending of a relationship. But let's see here. Why is he so stuck and feeling foolish here, spirit? We're going to take them all. So we have the eight of wands, the deer, trying to move forward very quickly to a new beginning. We have the pay, not communicating because he can't give. So he may be just starting a brand new start and it's moving fairly quickly, right? He may be traveling, making new contracts. I'm hearing he may be moving house. He may be buying a house. He may be leaving um, the, ho the house that he was in with this karmic person. He may be, you know, purchasing land, starting to build, starting to maybe get a mortgage, um, financing, um, clearing up some debts. There's definitely a delay here of how he's moving forward. He may be, he's definitely moving very quickly to a new beginning. So his stuck energy is like re uh, aspect of rejuvenating his life and moving forward when the time is right he will come and communicate this um it's been very difficult because it's a lot of changes a lot of regret that he's have to le leave behind all right let's get some oracles let's get some twin flame in separation energy So he's starting to rebuild, which is a good thing. And I don't think he wants to come empty handed. I feel that's what it is. I think he wants to have something stable. He wants the divine feminine to be proud here with that deer. And you see how this is a maturing energy. We have the page of pentacles over here and the ace. And I know this is more of a mature energy. See how that's a deer with antlers. So he wants to mature into a new beginning, right? Because he doesn't have the money with that and he's being a little bullhead. But I feel that that's something he needs to feel good about himself. He's definitely, you know, just protecting himself, um, being the mama bear to himself, following this faded path. And he'll know when to communicate. He's not talking to anybody. I feel he's moving in stealth, like very quickly, but very quietly. Because deer, when you see deer in the forest, right? They, like they're, they're quiet and they run, <laughs> right? Hard to catch them. You know, they're gentle, they're sweet and they run. And I feel like he's tapping back into some of that energy, his sweetness Aww, and that innocence. Oh no, all the cards fell. All right, let's take the ones that fell. All right, so messages from the mass. We'll take all the ones that fell. I wish I could be with you. I'm watching your social media. So following you, watching, if you don't have social media, definitely maybe looking at old pictures, old texts, emails, whatever else, or trying to energetically with this telepathy, trying to connect with you telepathically. I'm getting that very strong for some of you because his intuition is picking up. So he's trying to come to you in dream space, come to you and speak to you. And if you're not open to a divine feminine, you're going to feel that the energy is going to come in, but it's going to physically affect you. Okay. We have hope here, right? He's having hope that you still feel the same way as he moves forward. I know that you are my soulmate. I'm I'm sorry that I ran away here, right? There's the deer. Oh my God, he was scared. <laughs> I can't make it up. 
The fire was chasing him. The purification of Christ's light. It's coming here with the father energy as well, right? That he he gave up his Christhood. He gave up his masculine energy of holding that energy. I'm working on my inner issues for this new beginning. Beautiful. I was torn between two lovers. High Priestess, I'm following my intuition. I'm with them and thinking of you. And that's deadly sins. So some of them are definitely planning. They're planning. They're in the moving stages. They may be still be sharing a home. But they're looking at moving is what I'm hearing. They're looking at changing locations. So that could be something that it's transitory at this time. All right, let's get some final love messages. Get some final love messages. What are some final messages you have for the viewer spirit? No matter what changes life brings, nothing will change my love for you. You give my life purpose because of you. I feel safe. I am forever grateful. Thank you. So yeah, that's really that energy of, you know, I feel safe in your energy. I intuitively know that. So why was I so afraid of it? I intuitively feel like I could have something with you that nothing's ever going to change. Nothing's going to change my love for you. You know how much I love you. Do, 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 do. So that song is coming through. So nothing's going to change I love for. Na, na, na. It's an oldie, but it's a good one. So it's definitely he's coming to that realization that. Um, yeah, and you he really exalts you, Divine Feminine. And that could be another reason why he's so afraid. It's like you give my life purpose. I feel safe with you. I'm grateful for you. You you don't know how much you change me. You know, this love has changed me. This love is opening my eyes. You know, it's like I'm finally seeing life for the first time. Stop taking life so seriously. Achievements and possessions will pale into insignificance when your soul's journey back home to the light from which everything stems. Yeah, he may have been taking, he may have had control issues, you know, taking life too seriously. Think he had to build this town of pentacles and possessions and all of that. Not realizing that it's actually his soul that wants him to go home to the light. It's his soul that seeks comfort and safety with the divine feminine in his union. You know, and that's the only thing that matters in life. Material things always show up. I, I can't, listen, I don't even know how I raised two kids by myself with no child support. My whole life, I bought property. I've done everything. I now have like property in South America. Like, like, I don't even know how I did it. God always comes through for me and my children. And I've done it completely with a deadbeat father. Then he doesn't even talk to the children. Like, that's because when you put your soul first, that, that just happens it just happens it's not about the money it's not about what you can build it's about the love and this masculine has come to that realization that the love with the feminine that it it doesn't matter i think he's coming into this inner issues with the money you know but he's still working through this aspect with this other person and their party and his housing and and all of that he's still dealing with his devil because the devil is upright and he is walking away from it but they're still you guys know what that's like i know what it's like when you're when you're sleeping with the demon like oh god lord that is so difficult to get over um, because they siphon your empathic knowing they siphon your good pure soul your light right these karmic energies don't have that light they don't have that frequency it's not the original god spark okay like they have to work for that they gotta like rediscover that and that takes a lifetime it doesn't mean that they don't have it it means like they're not it's unattainable for them in this life because they have so much karma to work through so tell me about this masculine so another message the quality of your thoughts equals the quality of life you experience thoughts are living energies that have an enormous influence on what you attract into your life think love and that is what you will attract this masculine is definitely trying to elevate himself out of you know, what he was thinking before, his old ways of thinking, his pattern. He's like, that just created a bunch of dark ass shit. I don't want that anymore. So this is part of the 
point that he's trying to work on his stability, not having enough or reorganizing his life, changing, moving, all of that, and really trying to work on alchemy and manifestation and working with God and working with his intuition. There's a lot of intuition that's going on, the spark here in his heart, having hope that, you know, he hasn't missed this chance and really trying to connect energetic wise. Okay. And that's, it's been a little heavy here. It's, it's forcing the divine feminine. Um, I'll do a divine feminine read in a bit, but like, of what she's having to work through, right? So let's see what else. One last message from the masculine. What last message would the masculine like to say to the feminine? Life is forever changing in accordance with nature's divine will. May we lovingly embrace life's changing seasons in the knowledge that all is as it should be and that love is all there is. Exactly what I was saying. He's realizing that love is all there is. That's all there is. Let's get an advice oracle for the viewer. What advice would Spirit like to give to the viewer? If you guys want to like this video, please take that chance to do that. Send back the karma. And um, yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe. And if you want to work with me, all the info is down below. What final oracle message for the viewer, please? What oracle message for the viewer? This one will to come out. Oops, and there goes my lip balm. We've got two. So this is the masculine here, gaining his angel wings. His heart has been activated. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. Yes, this is the surrender. His heart has been activated as intuition. Look, he's even got this, this thing on his third eye. It's like the plants are here, Mother Earth. He's connected to his feminine energy. He's, he's listen, this masculine is coming into intuition. So if your intuition is blocked, you're going to feel something physical. I keep getting that message. So the thing is, is like this, it's like he wants to speak his truth. He wants to come forward. He's starting to accept this connection. It's holy. It's divine. Um, he, he can't change it. He's not fighting it anymore. He's making plans and changing his life. Look at this beautiful card, right? Being in union with his feminine, I feel he's feeling her every day. He knows that she's with him and he's accepting that they are merged. They're, he's bridging the separation gap. That's what I was seeing with this reading and walking away from the dynamic forces in his life. And he's really coming into a place of, you know, speaking his truth. Let's see how the light is coming out of his mouth here. And the fire is starting to ignite on his crown chakra. Look at this. The messages from God are coming in. The feminine is transmuting that flame over to her masculine and he's feeling it's allowing his throat chakra to clear. If he wasn't able to speak was because he didn't have the insight of God, of how God was leading him. And now creator is now igniting that through the feminine. The feminine holds that fire, right? And their hearts are getting activated here. And his crown is now he's getting messages from God. He's trusting the intuition. He's trusting how he's being guided. Romance. Cupid's arrow strikes. And that'll leave it at that, guys. He will be coming forward. Romance is in the air for all y'all. So much love. Bye.